Hey guys, this is going to be a review on this week's episode of Teen Wolf. If you haven't seen it, I should just leave now because I'm talking about spoilers and the spoilers are going to start now. So, a lot happened this week. Um, Donovan's dead. Ian Styles kind of sort of killed him. Uh, but his body went missing by the time the police came. And we found out that Parrish is taking not only Donovan's body, but Tracy and Lucas's. And of course, giving them to the Nemiton, which I feel like it's... Is it feeding power to the Nemiton or is it feeding power to Parrish? And also, the question arises that is Parrish unconsciously working with the drug doctors? Because, as we found out from Dr. Malik tonight, um, once you see them, you forget. Kind of like the silence. I was loving it. The silence, oh my god. Because now I'm just, I just, I'm thinking of like the dread doctors under the mask being the silence from obviously Doctor Who. And I'm enjoying everything more. <laughs> because the silence are great. But yeah, um, the dread doctors, they didn't kill Dr. Valak, but they, t oh god, they took his third eye out. I have a thing with eyes. I'm a huge horror movie fan and like I can watch the goriest, bloodiest, disgusting thing in a horror movie but you do something with the eyeballs, I, oh god, I get so squeamish just talking about it is making my eyes like, I have issues because it's just, I can't deal with eyes. It's the, I did, it's the weirdest thing. Anyways, um, this one that Valak wrote the book that was in Tracy's room which was telling them about the first experience of, the, of uh, or the first appearance of the Dread Doctors, which in Beacon Hills, I would assume, because he said that it happened, or that they're back here again. And I'm assuming it's from around eight years ago, which is when, like, everything went down. It's when uh, Claudia Selinsky died. It's when Malia had her accident. It's everything culminated at this eight years ago, which makes me think that everything that happened was happening eight years ago, which it just seems like everything is just history is repeating itself over and over again. And this, well, obviously history repeats itself everywhere and everywhere, but like, I said everywhere twice, didn't I? Anyways, but I'm thinking it happened then maybe? It could explain some things. I would go for it. I, I need some backstory, though, obviously. Give me some backstory. Finally introduce Claudia. I, I need to see Selinsky's mom. I need to see Styles' mom. That needs to happen real soon. Because I, I want to meet her. I think... Aren't we getting a flashback this season? I feel like we're getting a flashback of Styles and his mom. I think we are. Don't quote me, but I feel like someone said we are. Which I need. Like, now. Um. So, also. Valak. Asked Lydia to scream for him. And he used it to break the cell. So, I'm thinking that Valak is now out of, out of the cell. Which is great. And I think he was the one holding Lydia prisoner at the beginning of the season, I want to say. Also, Deaton, um, he wasn't in the episode, but, uh, the guy who let the, who let everyone in to Eichen House referenced that he knew Deaton, which I guess makes sense, but I'm still on the Deaton on the Deaton? On the Deaton is shady side. So, like, I just, I can't trust Deaton. He just, I know he's shady. And again, this comes back to what I feel for, like, Malia and Theo is, like, I know you're evil and I can't like you until you, like, come out as actual evil. And then what do you do? Oh, I'll be your biggest fan. Like, I'll love you. You know, like, I knew Theo was evil and then he came out as evil and now I like him. He's fine. Uh, I just wish Malia would just come around and be like, yo, I'm evil. Even if she doesn't know she's evil yet, because I feel like, I sometimes feel like she doesn't know she's evil, but like, she is. I know she is, because, you know, I know she is. Um, speaking of Malia, she was with Theo tonight, and they were, they were driving. Uh, her PTSD, her 
her PTSD. Her PTSD uh, triggered a memory from the night of the crash, and it showed what I originally thought was Kate, because it looked like Kate shooting those guns, but apparently it's the Desert Wolf, which I'm... Are we, like, certain the Desert Wolf and Kate aren't the same person? Because I just... I just feel like Kate is, like, the Desert Wolf and her mom. Just It just... It kind of sort of almost makes sense, maybe. I don't know. But I feel like Kate would be, like, the obvious choice. But I doubt Kate's the... is actually Billy's mom. It just... I feel like everything's pointing towards Kate. And then we find out who actually is her mom. It's just gonna be like... <gasps> Or we're not going to know who it is. I kind of want it to be someone we know, which would be real weird. But, yeah. I just want to know who it is. Like, just tell me who it is. Maybe we'll find out in 5B. Because I just, I want to know who it is. Um, but also, we have anything else about anything? I don't know, but Billy and Theo were looking real, real close. They're going to do something real soon. Um... I think that was pretty much it. Um, oh, we had the new character introduced tonight. The Slaw? The Slaw? I don't know how you pronounce it. But it's supposed to be a lost... A sh kind of like a shapeshifter who becomes the, like, recentest lost soul or something. I don't know. I just know, like, the original lore of it and that it's part of, like, the Unsealing Court. And it's a host. And it kills, like domestic animals, which I assume they're not going with in the show, but it's a thought. We also saw a lady with what looks like no mouth, which was kind of like the mute from last season? Yes, the mute was last season, wasn't it? Yes. I, yeah. So, I'm intrigued. I, I literally just want to know what all they have in Iken House. Like, I just feel like there's so many different things in Iken House. I just want to know what they all are. Speaking of a brief last mention for Iken House is Dr. Valak referenced his former cellmate, which means former, by the way. Where the fuck is Peter? Like, where did Peter go? Where's Peter now? Is Peter out of there? Is Peter dead? Where's Peter? I... I personally kind of sort of almost like Peter and I need to know where Peter is because he's he knows so much and I feel like they kind of need him sometimes even though he's real evil but I'm dying to know where Peter is anyways how much you guys love this tonight's episode and if you have any theories or any you know comments about the episode or what do you think is going to happen in the rest of the 5A season, which I think there's five episodes left. Uh, which this, se this half, or the 5A season is almost over. And I, I have no idea where they're going with it so far. So, to what you guys think, and thanks for watching.